uh, welcome back to the Lifton channel. Um, today is just a video about a lot of the people who ask me what are the best loadouts and weapon perks and stuff like that for MSK. I already have a video about like what Mythic Storm King is and stuff like that, but this is just specifically for weapon loadouts and best perks and good weapons to use for MSK. And again, before the video starts, please make sure to use my uh, supported creator code LEVSOON in the item shop when you buy stuff. So, I know that, like, I have a bunch of stuff in the game, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you what, like, the best stuff is, even if you may not have it. I'll show you a couple alternatives and stuff for some heroes. So, first off is, like, a Blast from the Past build for just, like, trying to survive with, like, a, a ninja and stuff like that. Uh, first off, again, you do have to have Blast from the Past, and if you don't know what it is, it... Uh, removes all your shield and then triples your HP, but it requires two dinosaur heroes to use. And then I have hardware critical rating, a bonus in my support team. I also have faster explosions, increases launcher damage, actuated attacks, increases hardware damage. And this hero is Guardian Bull. Uh, this is Demolitionist Penny. This is Tank Penny. And then the bonus, like the team perk bonus ones, are. Um, Priest Torque is a her her bonus is while shield is depleted it increases armor by thirty three, meaning you take like significantly less damage, just all around, and soaring claws which is add three percent of current health to melee weapon damage, and you can have either of these or you can change these out for any of the heroes here that boost like uh, Rex Jonesy, um, Jurassic Ken, Tricera Ops. Uh, Fossil Southie, any of these ones right here, those these also work, but uh, these are uh, most li mostly the ones that you'll use for Blast from the Past. And then again, uh, either Airstrike or Turret, and then Adrenaline Rush, which is a necessity. Next is a soldier build for MSK, and the goal of the soldier is to just like stay alive and provide boost to the ninjas and whoever, all and like you and ninja people or any other people in your support team or any of the people in your squad going up and uh, breaking the horn and uh the commander here is special forces jonesy which his bonus is war cry against grants 25.5 percent additional weapon damage and 25.5 percent movement speed and you don't have to have exactly Special Forces Jonesy. A lot of people use Special Forces Banshee, and Special Forces Banshee is uh, available from the collection book, and you just get you can get her for flux. And again, Blast from the Past. Um, it doesn't really matter what Blast from the Past uh, heroes you have here. It it's it just has to be one of these here that are like good, obviously. And again, I got Guardian Bull and Tank Penny here for extra hardware damage, and then Demolitions Penny along with the gadgets that I already mentioned. Now, this loadout is the loadout that you will always see me running in streams, which is a totally rockin' out build that you will be using to solo the horn, that is, if you want to solo the horn. Um, the team perk is totally rockin' out, and the, the bonus for that is Rockin' Riff also increases critical rating by 160, and uh, heals a little bit of base health, and that requires two totally red heroes. Uh, in this loadout, again, I got the two hardware damage uh, heroes, Tank Penny, Guardian Bull, Demolicious Penny, and then the different ones in this is uh, Breakbeat Wildcat, which is... Uh, her bonus is eliminating 10 enemies in 9 seconds, grants Rock and Riff, which goes hand in hand with Totally Rockin' Out, which is the Rock and Riff how you get it. Increases uh, damage by 50% and melee attack speed by 32%. That's what Rock and Riff does. And Subwafers, which is what you'll always see me getting, that's what you'll need to solo the horn. This is what grants you Rock and Riff when you need it. And it's just always accessible when you have uh, subwafers in your inventory. And uh, you get these by uh, harvesting metal objects like what you'll see me doing in my streams and stuff like that. And they are just all around. A lot of people don't know that this exists, but these are in the game right now. Uh, like in the Rad Llamas and stuff like that. These are what you'll get right now. So I'd recommend you probably get these heroes before they're gone. And then again, same gadgets, if not turret. 
moving on to uh, weapons to use for MSK is if you already have the mythic weapons or some of them, uh, the Storm King's Fury is what you'll always see me using during uh, breaking the horn and stuff like that. This is the this is like my go-to melee. It does the most damage for me and everything like that. I can do about 3,700 with the wafers and kunai while I'm up there at horn. Um, and these are the perks for it. But these are if you're running subwafers. If you're not running subwafers, instead of this top crit damage, you'll use attack speed. So it'll be attack speed, crit, uh, crit damage, physical attack speed, crit damage. Just so you can have that a little bit extra attack speed. And uh, you'll use that, again, if you're not using wafers and using, like, uh, Blast from the Past. And then uh, on top of that is the Storm King's Wrath, which is, again, what you'll always see me using for crystals and a lot of times for mini boss if I don't have a, a pot shot. And... The perks that I use for this is critical rating, crit damage, physical, critical rating, and fire rate. And I have two crit ratings rather than two crit damages because I don't really care about like dealing a little bit extra crit damage. I care more about dealing crits like repetitively. And the extra crit rating has really helped me out after uh, not dealing at any crits at all with uh, two crit damages. And, again, the attack speed crit damage for a Fury. This is just another one that I have. And then, if you don't have a Fury, you would use something that's called a Surround Pound, which is uh, it's another weapon that you can use for the Horn if you don't have a, a Mythic weapon. And, uh, like, if I carry you, stuff like that, if you need one of those, I, I always give people that I'm carrying this, just in case the off chance that they are on the Horn. Um... Uh, the perks that I have for this are crit damage, crit rating, attack speed, crit damage. I know that you can switch up the perks like a little bit with like the crits and the attack speed, but that's just what this is just what I have right now, and uh, I'll, I tend to give this just whenever, and I have some in my inventory at all times. And rather than the wrath, I would probably say a couple weapons that you can use to break the crystals would be like a xenon bow, and I don't have good perks on that. Because I haven't really focused on that. And maybe a couple other ones you could use. I, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure an old Betsy might be good. Um, oh, oh, it's a, a bundle bus. If you're using, like, ninja, like, links with a kunai and, like, you stay in the air. Um, these perks and uh, the bundle bus is just overall. It does a, a, a really good amount of damage to the crystals when you have this weapon and... Uh, I always tend to give people that I'm carrying this weapon right here. And uh, for killing mini boss, you would use a pot shot. And the perks that I have are crit damage, damage, physical, crit rating, and damage to miss monsters and bosses. Um, but the core perk on this, I'm going to change that right now, actually. And change it to uh, that. And these are just. Uh, Overall, like, one of the best perks, but I know you can change the damage to reload speed, but I would rather prefer, like, the extra damage over just reloading, but, um, that's just what I have right now, and I know that I use, like, 144s, and I don't craft them yet, and for, like, final phase and clearing out husks and stuff like that, I would use a deatomizer, and these are just the perks that I have on my deatomizer, and, um, which is obviously energy, crit damage, damage, crit rating, Sorry, crit damage and then crit rating. Um, again, I have to keep all these weapons god worlds because I have to deal as much damage as I can. And this is what you'll always see me using in final phase after you break the second horn. And um, that those are just like the weapons that I will use. And healing pad, again, this right here is what you do, what you'll always need if you're trying to just like heal and get... Uh, get healed up to full as quickly as you can as fast as you can as effectively as you can and the perks all this the perks like this will all just be healing amount and then the the bottom one you can't put healing amount so i just have heals attached building it doesn't really matter if it's like increased building health or heals attached building just as long as you have all healing amount on the five top ones uh, i know that some people use campfires but those are just not nearly as effective as healing pads are so 
if I were you, I'd recommend using heli pads over anything else. And I know that a lot of the stuff in the video that I've already mentioned, um, they're not like, a lot of times they're not really necessary. Like if you don't have any Flash in the Past heroes, you don't have any Totally Rocking Out heroes, um, you can just use like triple jump and then obviously you just put ninjas in your loadout. It doesn't really matter what bonuses they have, but um, the only reason is Blast in the Past if you're trying to survive, but if you're like one person, if you're somebody who just wants to get carried in MSK, you just either run Blast from the Past or it doesn't really matter what you have in your loadout, or triple jump if you're just trying to get around and get away from everything as fast as you can and staying off the ground so you don't die. Um, and uh, another thing would be building materials. What's best to use would be uh, would be brick and metal. Although metal is a lot more valuable than brick is, uh, I would prefer brick over metal because it's it's uh, pretty easy to get and it's uh, it's just better because you use metal for like SSDs and stuff like that and like uh, building defenses and like missions. So I also use wood a lot too, but brick is probably my go-to building material. Uh, now again, for everybody who doesn't necessarily know what MSK is, um, there will a card. There's going to be a card that appears on your screen uh, right about now that uh, will take you to a video that where I explain MSK and what you want to do in that and everything. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, um, if you or if you have enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. Comment down below if you want me to upload like a video of me soloing MSK. Um, I know it'll take me a while, but I'm confident that I can do it because I I've I have more than enough experience, and I guess I just have to get the right luck for that. But um, please consider subscribing, liking this video, commenting down below anything that you may need help with or anything like that. And uh, again, use the code that I uh, put at the start of the video if you can, but otherwise you don't have to. And uh, um, I have a video coming out soon that, or that I'm probably going to work on. It'll be about like getting all the exotic and mythic weapons and like battle royale getting a win with those. And uh, if you want to see that, just again, tell me down below. And uh, join my Discord server, link will be in the description. We have a custom scrim coming up, which will be, I think it's tomorrow when this video goes up, but uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.